Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. The message I heard is, you know, that's something to do. The scripture comes from Acts. nine and 32 and it came to pass that peter passing throughout all quarters also came down to the holy ones who were dwelling at lydda and he found them he found there a certain man aeneas by name for eight <clears throat> years laid on a pallet who was paralytic So in this scripture, Peter came up to a man and he healed him. He said, Aeneas, Jesus the Christ heals you. Arise and spread for yourself. And I feel like God is saying for somebody... God wants, there's somebody that God wants you to heal, but you don't want to. Like, I just feel like, it's like, <clears throat> my bad y'all, my foot slipped. But I just feel like it's a situation where this is someone that God wants you to heal, but you don't want to deal with this person. Regardless, um, before I started this video, I was thinking about a situation where, um, like, I, I uh, saw somebody that I knew a long time ago. And I was like, you know what I'm saying? Talk about other, like, other people that I've known of that I don't rock with them. I don't. They don't rock with me. They don't. They didn't back then, and they don't now. So it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? I, I just, there's no connection. You know what I'm saying? I like, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't relate. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like when it comes down to it, God is saying just because you feel like you can't relate to someone doesn't mean that you can't heal them. It doesn't mean you can't help them. It doesn't mean that you are unable to do what God wants you to. Even in this scripture, it's not a situation where Peter sat down and had a long conversation with this man. He literally just said, be healed, and he was healed. He said, Jesus Christ heals you, and he was healed. So I just feel like for whoever this is for, <clears throat> God is saying that just because you are not in a position to where you are best friends with somebody. It don't mean that you can't help them. Just because y'all not like this, it don't mean that y'all, you can't possibly do something to help them. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Spiritual healing is, um, is necessary. You know what I'm saying? Um, even sometimes, like, you don't have to literally physically put your hands on somebody in order to heal them. But we also, you know, be weary that there are some people that don't want healing. As, you know, odd as it sounds, you know what I'm saying? But there are some people that will literally reject healing. And um, they can be very aggressive towards you as well. But that's fine. They have made their choice. You know what I'm saying? If they don't want to be healed and they don't want to, you know what I'm saying, be saved, that is the choice that they have made. They will have to deal with that regardless to what their beliefs are and what, you know what I'm saying? And I'm literally thinking about someone that has, uh, that I have dealt with that has been very, very aggressive towards me without cause. You know what I'm saying? For no reason. Just very aggressive, very nasty, and very mean. And I like, I just, I, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like when it comes down to it, God is saying some people, if they can sense that you have a healing spirit, if they can sense that you are someone that lives your life for God and they like they they will be that way you know what I'm saying there are some people that have literally been so engulfed with so many demons and so many demonic entities that they don't they they literally will reject anybody that they sense the spirit of God upon 
and that's the message. But God is saying, don't reject, <clears throat> don't reject healing somebody just because you and that person are not real close. Just because you and that person are not like buddy, buddy or whatever. And that's the message. You don't have to physically be best friends with somebody in order to heal them. That's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.